Hey guys, it's Ryan back here again. And today I'm reviewing Star Wars The Clone Wars, and this is Bark Speeder Bike with Clone Trooper Buzz. So this deluxe set is exclusive to Walmart, so you can only buy it there. And the retail price on this set is $16.99. So let's take a look at the packaging now. As you can see, it's in the newer design that they're using for the 2011 deluxe sets. We also have the uh, Only at Walmart sticker right there. We have a rendered picture of Buzz on the right side. There's also a rendered picture of him on his bark speeder on the left side. As you can see, there is a Genosis background, and it even shows Luminar unduly in the back, which is really unique. So let's take a look at the back of the packaging here. We have the Galactic Car Game details. We also have some product photos, and we have some other deluxe sets, including General Grievous on his wheel bike and one of the other Walmart exclusives, and that is the ATRT Walker of Arf Trooper, and also one of the cancelled sets, and that is the speeder bike with Boba Fett. And it says, Clone Trooper Buzz rides a bark speeder bike on Geonosis. He is, the, he is on a scouting mission for Republic forces as they plan their next move against the Separatist army. With its laser cannons, speed, and mobility, this bike gives Buzz the ability to defend himself against an enemy attack. So that does it for the packaging there. Let's now take a look at the contents that are included with this set. Let me adjust my camera. And of course you get the Bark Speeder Bike. And you also get the Clone Trooper Buzz here, which is a completely new clone, which I'm really excited for. If I can get him to stand up here, it doesn't really want to stand up for some reason. There we go. And of course you get your pack in. So you get a dice, as well as a stand, and of course a card. So nothing special about that stuff since, you know, you get it with all the Clone Wars figures and accessories and whatnot. So let's now take a look at the Clone Trooper Buzz figure. The only accessory that he comes with is a DC-15 blaster rifle. And this is molded in a gray plastic, so it's nothing really too new about it. And Buzz here, he has a completely new deco, which I'm really excited about, and it just looks really fantastic. As you can see on his uh, left shoulder plate here, it's kind of glaring a little bit, but he has the 41st Elite Corps uh, logo right there on his left shoulder plate. He also has these uh, unique green markings on his chest, his arms, as well as his helmet. So there's these stripes on the lower part of his arms, which you can't really see too well, but they're there. He also has these markings on his chest plate, which extend all the way onto the back of his chest. And of course he has these green markings on his helmet, which look really nice. He also has this uh, gray little scar painted onto his helmet there. It even has the lines going across like stitches. So it's really nice little detailing there. He also has this uh, gray stripe up on the top of his helmet. But for the most part, the rest of the body is nothing really too unique. It is supporting the Commander Stone Sculpt, but this version has the ball hinged hips, uh, so he can ride on the Bark speeder bike, of course. But other than that, everything else is pretty much the... Um, Commander Stone Sculpt. So let's go over the articulation. He has a ball jointed head, ball hinge shoulders, ball hinge elbows, swivel wrist, swivel waist, ball hinge hips, and ball hinge knees. So unfortunately he does not have any ankle articulation and he does not have any uh, ball jointed waist. So that does it for Clone Trooper Buzz. Really cool clone and this is mainly the only reason why I picked up this pack to get this unique guy. So let's now take a look at the uh, Bark Speeder Bike. Nothing really too special about that. If I can get Clone Buzz to stand up here. He doesn't really want to stand up. Uh, but let's take a look at this uh, speeder now. So, you know, ever since Revenge of the Sift was released, we've seen so many Bark speeder bikes, it's beyond ridiculous. I believe it's nearing around 20 now of how many times we've seen it. I'm sure there's, yeah, there's multiple versions of the Bark speeder bike for the, you know, but for the most part, it's almost the same exact thing over and over and over again. So, you know, by this time, I'm just getting really annoyed with it. So it's nothing really too new with me at all. But let's just go over this real quickly here. So there is a Republic logo on the back. It's also another one on the other side. We got the uh, plasma, well, actually just the um, blaster cannons up here on the top. We we'll also have these uh, little handlebars, which you can have the figure stand on to. There's the adjustable little headrest right there. It also has these uh, foot struts, which extend down, and they do have pegs on them, so you can have your figure secured onto there. On the bottom of the vehicle, there is this wheel. There's also another one up on the front, and that can be used, of course, you know, just for playing around with it. Um, there's also some more blaster cannons up here on the lower part of the front end. Uh, that's on both sides, of course, as I drop it almost, but it also has some nice detailing up here in the front of the bark sphere, and also it has the enclosed portion up here. There's some versions which have this little uh, like metal piece that goes up and down right there, but this one's different. It has this uh, little covered piece over it. There's also uh, this maroon type paint job that they used on the side of the uh, bark speeder bike, which extends all the way around the entire vehicle itself. There's also some gray paint detailing on the back here, and that pretty much does it for the bark speeder. So, you know, nothing really too special about this at all. We've seen so many of these bark speeders, it's just getting beyond ridiculous. So, this does it for the bark speeder bike with Clone Trooper Buzz. 
Um, would I recommend picking it up? It's up to you or not. If you want to get another Bark Speeder, it's just, I would definitely recommend going for it. But uh, if you're getting it for Clone Trooper Buzz, it's just really up to you if you want to do that or not. Uh, I'm sure most of you already have a Bark Speeder or even multiples of them. But I would recommend picking up the set just for Buzz alone. And of course, you can sell, and well, actually, you can sell the Bark Speeder or you can just. Um, trade it for something like that it's just up to you if you want to buy this set or not but i definitely think it's worth it just for buzz alone really nice unique clone and it's just really awesome looking so anyways that pretty much does it for this review hope you guys enjoyed it and i'll see you all in the next video